come on. These lessons are easy so far, aren't they, go? Just on. Uh... Right. So sh and this is a short lesson, also a short lesson. Also easy. I, I think so. I think so. I think you will think it's easy. Oh. Okay, do you write this down? Sorry. Yeah, write this down. Come on, guy, what's wrong? What are you doing? Trouble. No, there's no trouble. I didn't, I can't find my schedule. I'm sure Gao's not trouble. Right, Gao? No, no. Never trouble. Now, have you got this? Mm. Yeah. 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 So, what word is this like? Resistance. It's, yeah, what word is it like? Resistance. It's like resistance, yeah. So, it's related to resistance and ohms. Okay, so. All electrical devices, bulbs, TVs, PCs, phones, etc., Ah, oh, Summer, come on, we're starting yeah. now. You can talk later. We're starting now. Are you yeah, you listening? Yeah. Gow, are you listening? <laughs> yeah, no, but you don't need to look up words. Just listen. All electrical devices, bulbs, TVs, PCs, phones, etc., have resistance. A resistor is an electrical device that offers a known fixed amount of resistance, as used in experiments and circuits. Normally the work done is heat. So let me explain. So, like, this TV has resistance because when the current goes in, some voltage is lost when the current comes back out. Why? Well, because some energy was changed into light. So it has a resistance. Okay? My laptop has resistance. That light has resistance. They all have resistance. Okay. Every electrical device has resistance. Even this cable has resistance. Everything. Okay. When you're doing experiments, you sometimes use something called a resistor. What's wrong? Everything has a resistor. Everything. But I remember. Yes, I remember there is a zero. There is a thing. Uh, zero resistance. There's one special thing yeah. that has zero resistance, but it's very, very, very difficult to make. Yeah, it's very bad. It's yeah, I don't know how to call. Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but if, if if you move something <coughs> to the the zero ca Kelvin, Kelvin yeah. Yeah, yeah. No resistance. Yeah. Special material. Yeah, I know the spare one. But, but, okay. but you need you need a lot of energy to keep it so cold. Yeah. And then as soon as you turn it off, it warms up and you get resistance. Okay. 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 Yes, okay. Except for that <laughs> one special example. <laughs> Sorry. Everything has resistance. Okay? In day-to-day -day life. Okay? Now, in experiments, we use something called a resistor. And resistors are really just small heaters. Like, here's a picture of one. So, for example, this here is a one-ohm resistor. All it does, when the current tries to move in, it uh, gives one ohm of resistance. So, for example, if this had one volt in one amp, when it comes out, no, it doesn't have any voltage. No, uh, no joules per coulomb. Now, you might say, what happened to the energy? So what actually happened was, when the current tried to pass through here, and it was hit with one ohm of resistance, a little bit of heat came off. Yeah? Yeah. You dropped your phone? Yeah. Be careful, please. Okay. Do you understand? Everything has resistance, but a resistor is a special device 
And its only job, it has one job, is to make resistance. It doesn't do anything else really. Whereas here, this has resistance, but it's for a good reason, it makes light. That has resistance, for a good reason, it makes light. This has resistance for no special reason. It just has resistance. And you use it in experiments. Huh? Make some haste. Yeah, but it's so tiny, you know, it's so tiny. Like, you, you can't really feel it. Yeah? Now, um, my question is... Well, no, actually, we'll get to that later. So, are you clear with what a resistor is? I think what I would like you to do is just write down the word resistor and draw this as an example. This is what a resistor would look like. It's a little, it's a little cylinder like this. Okay, so if you could just draw this and say it's a resistor. I have these in the office. They're very small. They're only like this big. Yeah. They're little, yeah. tiny. Yeah, correct. Yeah, you you see them inside electronics. Inside that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'd say definitely. Definitely. Okay, Good continue. Yes, please. Yeah. So what affects the level of resistance? So if I go back to this picture, if I want to make this resistance bigger, I could change the shape of this, change the size, you know. So for example, um, do you think the length affects the R? So if the resistor was longer, do you think that affects the ore? Yes. Yeah. How so? Because uh, what I mean to say, sorry, is would it make it more or less? More. More. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do you think the radius affects the ore? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. How? Bigger. If bigger yeah. radius means yes. bigger, bigger radius. Bigger, bigger resistance. Resistance, yeah. It does affect it, but not the way you think. It's the opposite. Okay, because think, if the radius is bigger, then it's easier for the current to move. So that means less resistance. So it's the opposite. Okay. What about the type of material? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you can put all these together and you can get a formula to calculate R is equal to rho. Now, that rho is not the same as density. It's a different meaning here. Okay, Rho L over A. What do you think the L means? The length of the resistor. And the A is the cross-section area. And the rho is a constant. And it's different for each material. L is length. A is area, and rho is a constant. And that rho, is ca it's called the resistivity, that rho. That is called the resistivity. So you need this formula. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. The cross section or area is 
sir. Uh, the formula show show me the area bigger and the re rest rest. This is it smaller. Smaller. Yeah. But uh, you said. No, that's what I said. Uh, yeah, yeah. I you, said you, you said the the, the the electron will cause the yeah the easier. easier. Yeah, true. It's true. Why? Because it's bigger. Resistor, resistor is big. As a resistor. It's bigger, yeah. so it's easier for the current to pass through. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, if you made it smaller, yeah. then it's harder for the electrons to move through. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's really, it's like, it's like the picture I showed you earlier, yeah. you know? The resistance, if it if, if it's smaller, it's it's harder to push through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Resistivity is that constant here. Okay. And we say it's a measure of how much a conductor stops the flow of electricity through it. Now when, you don't have to write that part down. So what I mean is if this is bigger, then what about the ore is bigger? Mm -hmm. And if this is smaller, then this is smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the meaning is most metals have a low resistivity and the unit is the ohm meter like this so that's the unit for this here for measuring how much electrical resistivity there is so i'll just show you here if i say r equals rho l over a then you can say r a over l equals rho what's the unit here that's ohm meter squared and this one meter so they cancel and it makes this guy is units is all meter mm. now i give you a little trick in the exam a little trick in the exam if they ever ask you for the definition of something like for example the definition here okay what you can do is change the formula into this and then try to write this in words. You know, so you could say, resistivity is, and you try to write this into words, okay? So you could say it's uh, the, what's a word that means multiply in maths? Product means multiply. You don't know this? Product means multiply. And what means divide? You can say ratio, or what we say in physics is per. So you can say resistivity is the product of resistance and cross section area per yeah per unit length or I'll just write per length okay of a resistor so do you see here all of this is just that and then of a resistor just means that this refers to a resistor. And product of means the multiply, and per length means the divide. So you can change formulas into sentences if they ask you what's the definition. So this is one way to write the definition. Yeah. You should also say it is a constant which is different for each material.
Ja? It is a constant which is different for each material. Continue. Yeah? No. Yeah. Right, so what's an insulator? You know this word from chemistry? What's an insulator? No? An insulator offers an appreciable level of resistance. Now what the word appreciable means like, you know, not a small number, like, you know, not small. Uh, so this, this, this is small, and then appreciable is, you know, you can, a, bit, a little bit bigger than small, uh, and then not appreciable would mean small, that you can't really measure it. Appreciable means you can measure it. It's big enough to measure. That, that's what I mean, really. You know? So, an insulator... What's wrong? You got the word? An insulator will offer an appreciable level of resistance and will often, not always, but often have a high level of resistivity. Resistivity is the Rho. Oh. Okay. A conductor. What's a conductor? Oh, come on. You should know this from chemistry. What's a conductor? Which can transfer. You can transfer. Charge. Charge, yeah. So it will not offer an appreciable level of resistance and will often, not always, but will often have a low level of resistivity. What's wrong, Summer? No no no. No, 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 which word? Which one? No, but I'm telling you, don't tell them in Chinese. I'm telling you what a conductor is. Conductor, yeah. metal, conductor, yeah. insulator, wood. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay? All right. So you don't need a dictionary, yeah. do you? No, no, I don't. Of course not. Yeah. All right, write this down. So the rubber is insulated? Correct. It's opposite bar. Say again? It's opposite bar. It's They're opposite. They're opposite. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <coughs> I thought you did these words in chemistry. Not yet. Are you sure? But conductor, yeah. That's okay. SI? What do you mean? Um, element. Oh, SI, the element. I don't know what element that is. What's SI? Um, it's not silicon, is it? It's silicon. Is it silicon? I think so. Mm. SI is silicon? Wait, wait. So. What is that then, Ben? Is, is SI a conductor or an insulator? Silicon. Silicon. Conductor or an insulator? Insulator. Insulator. Yeah. Insulator. Yeah. Mm. SI. See you? Yeah. It's in, uh, the computer will use the, 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 the silicon, silicon yeah, yeah, yeah. to make the... Mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
is a bit more complicated because the computer uses a special mixture of silicon and other materials. Yeah. Yeah. So it behaves in a very special way. Yeah. Very special uh, behavior. I don't yeah. know how to say anything. Yeah. I was I got this word before it's just last Yeah, time. you see this is it. There's conductor and insulator, and then what you're saying, Ben, is something called a semiconductor. A semiconductor, S E M I. Yeah. That's what they use in computers with the silicon. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like if you mix it a special way, you can make it a conductor. But it's a very strange conductor. <laughs> but it doesn't, we, yeah. we don't study semiconductors. We don't study this. So don't worry. Oh, I would say insulator. 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 The, the, the S I itself is uh, mm. yeah the S I itself in, 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 in yeah yeah but uh, we just said that 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 things make the make by the uh, metal uh, some metal and uh, the the S I is yeah. uh, semiconductor uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you on. see if you just Ben, if you just have silicon by itself, just silicon, it's an insulator. But you can mix it with something else. I don't remember what else. But you can mix it with something else, and then it becomes a semiconductor, a half conductor. SiO two is silicon and oxygen. SiO two. Want to check? Okay. So I was need is uh, this nick nickel? Uh, nickel. 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 Yeah. That's that thing is made by nickel and the nickel and silicon. The silicon, I, I think. Yeah. This is the semiconductor. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We don't study this. It's okay. We only study insulator conductor. Don't really worry so much about the other one, the semiconductor. What are you checking, Ben? You want to show me? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Yes. So, I'm going to give you some values now of resistivity. Okay? Yeah? So, the first one is carbon, like graphite, in your pencil. Do you see how small this is? So it's, you can say it's a conductor. Mm. Also copper is also small. It's a conductor. Yeah. Nickel, small, conductor. Nick chrome, small, conductor. It's a mixture of nickel and Chlor chromium. Chromium? Yeah. yeah. Chloro? Chromium, chromium and nickel. Oh. Yeah, wood. Well, do you see how different it is? Insulator. An insulator, ten to the fourteen <laughs> instead of ten to the minus six. Rubber is ten to the thirteen. It's an insulator. This is it stretchy. The, the the car wheel is made of it. Oh, no! Yeah, he yeah. doesn't need Chinese yeah, because yeah. you know a car. Yeah. Um, no, no, he knows a car. He yeah. knows a wheel, so he knows what I'm talking about when I say the wheel of a car, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So he yeah. doesn't need the Chinese. Okay. We have to cycle in this. You cycle today? Yeah. Yeah. Danger. Danger indeed. In the morning, I, I, I felt I can't fly. 
in low and by low and yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you cycle? No, I just walk. Just walk, okay. Yeah. Chinese because I don't know how to <laughs> ride, uh, ride the bike. Really? Yeah. yeah, so then you're not Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Continue? Yes? Mm. Yep. Go? Yeah. Okay. Right. So look, it's just one example because it's just one formula. So simple, okay? You have an electrical heater. Now you probably have these at home, mm. the electrical heaters. They're really, really simple to make. You could make one yourself. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. So this is how the electric heater works. You have your power and it just goes into um, a box. And the box has a hole on the top and holes on the bottom. And then inside it is this material called nick chrome. Nick chrome. So when the current passes through, this here has a resistance and this makes the heat. And the reason you have the holes in the top and the holes in the bottom is because the air here is cold. When it gets hot, what happens to the hot air? It moves up and it comes out. So this is why the electric heaters, they, you know, you can buy them sometimes for just 20 euros, because all they are is a box <laughs> and <laughs> this wire, coil. this coil, this nick chrome. That's all it is. That's all. So anyways, I give you an example. You have nick chrome. It's 20 centimeters long and five millimeters in diameter. Thick. Yeah, thickness. I want to know what's the resistance. Okay, so the formula is R equals rho L over A. Oh, it's two millimeters? Here you go, you can calculate it. 20 centimeter long and five millimeters thick. Yeah? Mm. Diameter. Diameter, thick. yeah, thickness, yeah. Okay, calculate. Now, guys, this is not... In a real electric heater, I think this would be more like maybe 200 centimetres. Because it, 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 if you look inside, it goes like this. Yeah. You know, so it's actually quite long. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see 20. No, no, let's change it. Sorry, change it. Make it 200 centimetres. Okay. 200 centimetres. Don't, oh, I'm so tired of hearing Chinese. So R is uh, pi R squared. Pi R squared, yeah. Uh, diameter is, sorry, 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 sorry. Diameter is five millimeters. Five millimeters. Millimeters. Millimeters, right, Summer? Millim, yeah, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> What's the question ask? What's the or? Oh. 0 0.028 Really? thought it might be bigger Maybe bigger? What's the row? What's the row? So rho is a one point one zero times ten raised to the power of yeah. six minus, minus six six yeah. and the L is two, two. yeah and the A is so pi, pi zero point zero zero five squared, squared. yeah okay so what is no, this zero point zero two five oh, thank you thank you thank you two five mm. squared 
Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, so far. What you got? Let me. 1.1 1. 1 times 10 power minus 6. That sounds better, Summer. Liu. Uh, 6. Liu. Liu. <laughs> no Chinese. Yeah, Summer. Liu. Huh? Are you sure, Summer? Huh? I got 0. 0.11. Eh? Yeah. 0. 0.11? Yeah. How, how, how do you get that? I got 0. 0.11, so. See? Uh, 0. Yeah. 0. 0. Huh? What are you guys talking about? What? Look what I did. Look what I did. Is that right? Check it. Yeah, that's think Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But where is my wrong? Your wrong is going to What's Tesco. <laughs> The point was wrong. Yeah, the point is wrong. Uh, I, also, I don't know how to do that. You don't. Sorry. Right. Okay. Okay. So just one formula for today. Yeah. Just one formula. Okay. So. Um, uh, could you do all four questions now? Yes. So, wait, what I want you to do is these four. If you get them finished, which I think will only take you like five minutes, you can go back and then finish this lesson. And then this question here is very hard. Yeah. Four? Yeah, so what I'm saying, uh, after you do this, you can go back and do four here, and then go back and do four here. This one is very hard. No, thickness is, is like this. Oh. This is length, oh. and this is thickness. Oh. So here they say the coin. So when I talk about coin, this is the thickness yeah. when I talk about coin. So that thickness is the L. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but no, no, you need to say, but for a coin. Yeah. Because if I talk about the thickness of this, yeah. it's not that, yeah, it's that. Yeah, but if I talk about it for a coin, yeah. it's that. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's the smaller. Yeah. Yeah. 